All right, what's up, people? Uh, today is Sunday, March 16th. Uh, went to a Chicagoland record collectors show today. Uh, website for ChicagoRecordCollectors.com. Uh, anyone who's into anyone who's into crate digging or anything like that, whether it be rock, disco, 12 inches, hip hop, whatever you're into, they got it. I'm sure. Um, found a, quite a few things. Um, mainly the gems that I found are from hip hop. Uh, I'm into 80s hip hop, uh, some 90s, but it's got to be it's got to be the good shit. Uh, so, for instance, first up, I found Jazzy J, T. The Rock. On party time, it's yours. Jacket's not that great of condition, but the record is clean. So let's see. If you don't know that one, get up on it. Also, on party time, awesome foursome, funky breakdown. This record's pretty dope. I've never heard it, but I know the group. Uh, the drums have a real Renegades of Funk style to them. Uh, the record's got a hop. It skips with on, on the vocal version, but I'll try to find another one. Hopefully I get it. Hopefully I can. We are here to That's the kind of stuff I'm into. Real funky, classic sound in hip-hop. Uh, next up, Sugar Scoop. The Beat Boys. Bebop Rock. They basically took Man Parish hip-hop bebop. Took a couple loops from that, rapped over it. I dig it. The other side is Bebop Rock Part 2. They rapped over the, the violin, horn, whatever you want to call it. I don't dig it as much as I dig the flip, the one I just played, but... To me, the real one is the original version. That one just sounds kind of forced and awkward, in my opinion. This one I already have, but it was cool to find a double, and it's not a reprint. Mantronics, fresh as the word, on Sleeping Bag. So I'm not even going to play that one. I'm a Houdini fan. Anytime I see Houdini 12-inch, I ain't got I get it. Um, Big Mouth. Still got the plastic on it. Final is super clean. Another 80s gem. Stetza. Talking all that jazz. Tommy Boy. You already know. This one. Funky 4 plus 1. That's the joint. That's the joint. I didn't know that Special K's I Got a Man came from this. I just knew the That's the Joint. From the Beastie Boys. It's the joint. We're gonna prove to the world that we're for real. We're gonna prove to everybody you know the real deal. We got gold, the voices, the hearts, the steel. We got the five and seeds, we got to be real. We wanna hear the party, keep it up, sugar hill. So what's the deal? Sugar hill. So what's the deal? Sugar hill. And the other side's instrumental.
what your man got to do with me? I'm not trying to hear that, see? So yeah, Funky Floor plus one. I was pretty ex excited to find that one. Uh, probably my favorite rap group of all time. Hip-hop groups, not raps, hip-hop. Run DMC. So I got Hard Times and Jam Master J. I got it for Jam Master J. Jam Master J, the big beat blaster, you know. Another one, it's like that, and it's also got Sucker MCs on it. Uh, it's got the Sucker MCs instrumental. That's probably one of my favorite instrumentals of all time, just that raw-ass beat. Not even going to play them. You already know. UTFO. I haven't heard, I've never heard this one. Kangle and Doc. And the other side's got a track called We Work Hard. We Work Hard's all right, but... Kangle and Doc is okay too. I mean, it's, it's good if you're a UTFO fan, which I am. Well, stands for, stands for Untouchable Force Organization. May I continue? Yes, you may. It like Peter Pie picked a piece of pickle pepper. There's never been a rapper that can rap like this or better. Now I know you want to have a ball, but I got a question to ask you all. If everybody in the place want a party, clap your hands. If everybody in the place want a party, clap your hands. If everybody in the place want a party, and I do mean every, every, everybody. If everybody in the place wanna party, clap your hands. If everybody in the place wanna party, clap your hands. If everybody in the place wanna party, clap your hands. If everybody in the place wanna party, and I do mean every, every, everybody. If everybody in the place wanna party, clap your hands. Now the person next to you is ugly, clap your hands. I mean, it's kind of, you know, kind of cheesy, kind of goofy. But, you know, like I said, if you're a UTFO fan, which I am, it's, it's all right. It's all right for the collection. Now, this one, I have, I found at another record show way back in the day. Uh, Roxanne, Roxanne, 12-inch. But the one I have is on Select, and it's, it's got a different cover. It doesn't have the real Roxanne on it, which this one does. Uh, so I don't know if this is like an import or if it was, it was licensed. I'm um, looking on here, I don't see anything from like, if it's like a European release or whatever. But uh, yeah, Roxanne, Roxanne. It's on Street Wave Records. It's got the vocals, it's got Hanging Out. Uh, Flip has got, whoop, the real Roxanne, bleep version. <sighs> Roxanne's backside scratch it, I don't even know what that is. Might be an instrumental. Like a, kind of like a dub. Yeah. That's a, like a scratch mix kind of thing. Boy, you must be crazy. Yeah, UTFO right there. All right, so that was the, the, the hip-hop stuff that I found that I, that I was really good about. Um, this one here, this is a Chicago classic, and, and these are just beat tracks. I mean, back in the day, DJs on the radio would play these and play acapellas over them, and one in particular on here is, is, a, is a Chicago staple, which is this first one here. Just, just raw beat tracks. And that one was on a record called The Ultimate Scratch, was like one of the first real scratch records out. So they had that one on there, which is one of the reasons why the, why the record sold so well, I would think. Then it had Faces Drums, it had lost tracks on there uh and it, the other side was all scratch samples but they weren't sequenced how battle records are like all the keyboard battle records are now they they had the sound that had a space and another sound space but that was one of the first scratch records and people still use it to this day um well, let's go through some of the other tracks on here Real basic, real, real basic, basic, basic. That was a little funky. Got some percussions in there. What's on the flip? 
to it. One track, it goes on for 15, almost 16 minutes of this. But yeah, the reason I got it is the original press, got it for this one. So I don't have to play my busted ass Ultimate Scratch one anymore. So I'm, I'm, I'm into disco because I sample a lot of disco stuff. Taka Boom is Shaka Khan's sister. And the guy that I got this from, he had five or six copies of this. They're all sealed. This one was sealed before I opened it. So vinyl's brand new. It's not a repress or anything. These are all original pressings. This first track's called Night Dancing. And it's... Ew. <laughs> hear me sample the hell out of that one pretty soon <laughs> so yeah check those shows out if you ever have a chance or if you're a crate digger like I said name it you might find it uh, they got metal they got rock they got country they got classical they got whatever you guys might be into I'm sure you'll be able to walk out of there with something I picked up a, a decent stack of records from like three vendors Stuff ran me about 60 bucks total. Didn't break the bank. You know, I had got some good stuff. So definitely give it a shot. Check them out.